What's going on YouTube? This is Mythurgai here, and today, guys, I'm bringing you some Terraria. We're doing a pre-1.3 type of uh, Let's Play. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to gather as much of the resources as possible. Um, this way we can be prepared and ready for 1.3 when it comes. I don't want to skip ahead to the... Um, the actual uh, hard mode stuff and st I just want to get pre hard mode and once I hit um, basically I've gathered a bunch of resources and stuff and made some maybe some farms or something I'm gonna then stop there so that way I could um, just have it ready to take off as soon as 1.3 hits uh, there is no estimated date whatsoever for 1.3 so I have no estimated date um, for when my playthrough will end or when it will be stalled for 1.3 so we're just going to continue playing um, and if 1.3 is uh, released sooner than I thought or sooner um, than the time being of me actually getting to the point where I want to be before 1.3 um, if it is I will just continue on with my let's play and then I'll just pretty much call it a um, an abrupt beginning, I guess. I don't know, something like that. Uh, so, here we are. So, I, I sometimes, I don't like this. As you guys can see there, I got random, sometimes I get random lag spikes. Um, and it's, and it happens with both, um, Marillus Action and Fraps. I'm recording with Fraps at the moment. And I just happen to get random FPS spikes sometimes. And it kind of annoys me. But other than that, I get solid 60 FPS. So, nothing to worry about. So what I'm just searching for is, this will actually be a really good spot to uh, pop down a house. Mainly because it's the snow biome, it's hard for the um, corruption hollowed to actually breach into your, I guess you could say, neck of the woods. Um, into the snow biome because, well, it's snow, it's not a uh, stone or grass dirt that it can uh, spread through. So. I'm going to go ahead and chop down this tree here, and then we're going to... Uh, just the reason why I do that is because I don't like having my door right in front of a tree, and there's only one way to open it. I like having uh, multiple ways. I like being able to open it from both sides. So, I'm going to build a basic house. I kind of made that look weird, so we're going to fix it. And I'm going to put one there, too. So... There we go, we're going to build it across here. Pop you down, and then, bam. Workbench. Um, I'm going to go with the Boreal Forest uh, wood vanity item set type of deal. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yes. We'll ha definitely have enough walls. Um, I don't care how that looks with the... Um, I hate when that does that. Just want it to be a certain. Wow, I managed to do that myself. To be a certain distance, like it to be in right there, because I don't like when walls run over. I have to have a certain OCD type um, feeling t to myself. So we do have some gel, and we can craft ourselves some torches, so we can get the NPCs to start spawning. Well, as soon as I make more houses. So first off, we're going to. Build ourselves a hammer. There we go. We send on the top of this. Wow. There we go. Oh. Wow, as you guys can see, another random like spike. Alright, so. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and build another addition to the house. Um, kind of a early start, but better early than late when well actually there's no reason to call it late uh, this is pre-hard mode this ain't no uh, rush to build a house to get NPCs to get uh, to get all the supplies I need it's kind of more like a measurely kind of stroll because um, like I said there's no estimated uh, time of release for Terraria 1 point mm, well, yeah Terraria 1.3 so or as it's known to be called, um, 
there's like I said no estimated es estimated release date um, the developers don't want a um, rush uh, for the release date because if they say they're gonna have a release date they don't want to be rushing to implement everything into it into the Terraria 1.3 uh, before that release date and it causes a lot of things to become imbalanced and then you have a lot of players uh, complaining in my knowledge complaining people are annoying um, I probably wouldn't be the only one to say that it's a known fact a lot of people that uh, complain are really annoying and I just totally made too many walls all right and we're gonna pop the other torch when we get up there we gotta make a table yeah couldn't scroll to it right so w I like having torches like this it makes it look like an established home um, doesn't make it look like a country bumpkin made this house um, or some noob I like having a well lit and well I guess you could say orderly looking house something that doesn't look like a uh, kid made it I like it making it look pretty neat and supreme I guess you could say so we're just gonna skip those guys for now we need to get a new sword and the time being before we just try to kill too many uh, well, yeah, too many slimes, but, oh my gosh, my FPS just dips. I mean, it it's not like it's affecting me, but it just dips between 50, from 60 to 58. It's not like an, un, it's not like it's causing anything to happen to me, but it's kind of annoying. Alright, so there we go, we've end the, re end the re we've reached the end of the snow biome. Sweet, we got an iron skin potion. Um... And my main point right now is really just surveying kind of the land we've got here. Um, and I saw that chest down here. I'm going to go grab it. Okay, so we got... Ah, Rusa's Spear. What did I... Oh, I was moving because of the ice. I totally forgot about that. I was about to freak out. I was like, why am I moving? I was like, I can't be lagging. There's uh, not even on the server. That'd be weird just randomly start teleporting and you're not even on the server, you're playing single player, you'd be like, um, something wrong, Terraria. I think there's something wrong. So I'm just kind of checking this out. Okay, so actually I could have kept that torch there. Uh, noticed there's a little mini cave system. I'm not going to say it's a big one. Uh, it's a little mini one. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of just mini. That looks like some copper mound uh, where you can get copper coins. So we're going to try to go break it up. See if we can't actually get any copper coins. Ah, give me three silver. Not bad, um, but not the best. Not like the gold ones that everyone would want, of course. So, kind of. Let's see if we can't. Okay, so there's nothing. Just... I'm gonna go. Gr well, can I grab this torch? I wanna grab it, because uh, I only have ten left, and. I, don't, I have two gel. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those two. We can keep that one there for now. I don't care. Wow. That totally failed. I didn't mean to try to jump on top of that. Wow, that totally failed too. So I'm trying to do a little bit of parkour here. Oh, I didn't even notice the chest over here in the first seat. See, see the there, there we go. Random like spikes. Alright, so what kind is this? Superior. And this one's ruthless. Still got 12% damage. Uh, let's go with this one. Mainly because it doesn't have any knockback. It actually has increased knockback, so it's even better. So, uh, with this random FPS increases and all that crap, I'm going to try to fix that. So, yes, we do have the Crimson. Uh, that's a notable um, significance about my world. It's much easier to kill the boss. Um, it's also easy to kill the world, uh, the, the world, Eater of Worlds, too. But, um, the. Uh, the uh, Brain of Cthulhu is, is actually fairly easy to kill, um, considering his uh, skill, his, his uh, set of enemies, little minions he has. Um, if you do it right, you can actually easily conquer him. Um, and we're just going to use this, I'm actually going to go really quickly and just kind of see how far we can actually get down to this cave system before we're um, stopped. 
I actually don't normally collect statues, but we're gonna go ahead and collect this one, uh, mainly because it's it's probably gonna help out sooner or later in the future. All right, so we do have some little cave system over here, so we are getting a little bit lower. All right, so we happen to hit a cave system. Um, kind of a, there's one over there. Um, and I'm usually when you have. Oh my God. So I noticed that right there, um, and yeah, that one's straight above, so I wanted to go ahead and get rid of that, so we wouldn't have to worry about it anymore, and we're going to just go ahead and dig right on up here, just see what we can get. Totally forgot about my auto mine, it allows you to auto mine away blocks just by holding, oh wait a second, will there be a way? Yes, there will be a way. I totally forgot that you cannot mine through crimson blocks. I wasn't even thinking, but then again, I couldn't even see the blocks. So we're just going to go right on around. Okay. Um, and then we'll just go up, up. Now. Now we'll go up. <laughs> okay, so you're really annoying me. So let's just go ahead and uh, use normal mining because that's, well, easy. Right. Man. This is sometimes this is boring. Sometimes this is fun because sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get. Um and when you don't know what you're gonna get, it's sometime Oh, that's the uh pressure plate for that. I almost freaked out. I was literally thinking No I, I thought I was gonna die because of some boulder. That scared me. That can actually enables me to get more money because now I know there's a dart trap over here I can go grab. Um, and soon when I die and I can... Well, what am I saying? I don't even know. Uh, we'll just keep him on this ledge um, so we can collect the silver and vertebrae. So it's, we have 97 silver. So um, the first NPC we should have move in would be the guide and the... Uh, the merchant, hopefully, as long as I don't find a uh, heart and the idiot. Oh, so we didn't even go down far enough to get down to this cave system. So there's a golden chest. So if we could actually find some bombs at some point, we could actually possibly get down there. But we can't because we don't have any bombs and there's no pots for me to break. So uh, this will probably be end of it. Uh, we found out we have the crimson, we found out we spawned in the snow biome, which is actually my favorite biome in uh, all the biomes of Terraria. Uh, we found out that we're going to have fun right now, so I just want to say if you guys thought this was a pretty interesting episode, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for future episodes to be automatically put in your subscriber feed so that way you can actually see them right when they come out instead of having to search for them and forget about searching them. So, I want to say th thanks guys for watching this video and I'll see you later.